All right, first thing, I got the bike lifted on and got it strapped down so it doesn't move. Next thing, we'll go ahead and remove the battery. Next, we'll remove the spark plugs. I just put some tape over the uh, holes for the spark plugs. Keep any, anything out of there. Next, I'll drain the oil. Oil's been drained. We'll take off the exhaust next. Go ahead and cover this up. Cover it up. Next thing we'll do is remove the uh, carburetor breather. Next, we'll remove these rivets. All right, I used a uh, 5 16 drill bit. Let's see if I can get that. 5 16 drill bit you don't you don't need to have a lot of pressure I'm actually all right so it'll just fall off once you get to it like I said I'm running out of battery so hopefully I got enough boom see that's all you need all right so now we'll remove the timing cover and it'll expose the uh, inner cover and it'll have two screws in there which I have already removed All right, now our ignition sensor plate is exposed. Um, before you take them off, go ahead and scribe in your timing um, or mark them. There's a scribe on mine, so we'll stick with a scribe. All right, in order to remove the plate, you wanna go ahead, use the 716. So, Alan, we'll open this up in order to get some play. And then we'll go ahead and and uh, get this pulled off. All right. All right. I went ahead and mo removed these bolts in the meantime to get the uh, oil um, dripping out already. We'll go ahead and remove this uh, bolt here, get it loose, and then we'll be able to pull the cover off. Bolt. And remove this guy. All right, opened her up now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean her up. Okay, so you can see that the gasket stuck on here, so you want to clean it up. I'll go ahead and remove these it's push rod tubes. All right, to remove, you just get a flathead and this insert here. Pop off. All right, push rod removal. What you need to do is take a bolt cutter here. All right, um, I'm gonna hold the tube up. Simply use the rubber band and a paper clip. Just put the paper. All right, so it's off. Um, we'll go ahead and take off the tappet blocks. Before removing the cam, we're going to make sure that the cam and the pinion gear and the breather valve are all um, in timing, which is this mark will meet up with this mark, and this one will meet up with this one. So uh, we'll put the transmission in fifth gear and we'll rotate the rear wheel until this uh, occurs. Even though it just hits on it. Just gonna... Right there. All right, so earlier when we popped off the uh, cover, uh, this nylon washer was stuck to the cover. So um, this nylon washer goes to the breather valve. Now that our, our timings are in line, we're gonna go ahead and remove um, the nylon washer and then the breather. Okay. All right, so tap it blocks. Gotta hit this with a hammer, rubber hammer, plastic hammer. Um, don't beat the crap out of it, but you know, you gotta tap it. All right, so about 25 wax later, tap the 
lot. Here's your room. I'm gonna clean the all the gasket remaining on it. Next, I'm gonna pull the bearing off. You can do this in a couple different ways. I, I went ahead and got the uh, removal and installer tool from eBay. Next, I'll go ahead move to step two. Get this guy. Put it in there. Take the washer. And then that. Okay, so this is how it works. You put it in how I showed you. Um, you get this, you get something to hold this nut here. And then there's flat grooves right here. I took a, uh, probably need a better one, 5 8 I'm using a 5 8 and I'm just turning it. And sure enough, that's how she works. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the new bearing. This is the installer tool. The bearing, remember, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's writing on the tool, I mean on the bearing. Let's see, tap the screen real quick. All right, you can see that, hopefully. Um, that you should put on like that because the writing has to be facing towards you. There should be a little space between the bearing and the housing. Okay, so this is the uh, outgoing cam. Stock are usually longer than the aftermarket. So uh, it calls for a measurement. You're gonna take a uh, caliper and so. You're gonna measure from here to here. Okay, so get it. Boom, we got that. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, the new cam, and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a gap down here, and that gap is a uh, it should be 0 .0, 0 0.05, what is it, 500,000? Yeah. Um, shorter. So I'm here sure. is the EV13. Are you on still? Yeah. So here's the EV13. Um, once again, I'm going to do the measurement. And as you can see, there's a nice little gap there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw the shim on there. And you're going to see it's going to fit it. Um, Throw it on here. All right. You can see. There it is. I'll show you the. Uh... All right. So this is the uh, aftermarket breather valve. It's an Ultima. Paid about shit. I don't even remember. I bought it so long ago. But it's uh, it beats the plastic one that's in the Harley definitely. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, cam. Put it on. Notice the two timing points. This one will be time to valve, and this will be the pinion. <clears throat> With the cam in, the uh, breather valve, the pinion gear all lined up, um, the thrust washer, and the shim are also on the cam. I have now put on the tappet block, tappet blocks. Um, there is limited space behind the rear tappet block, so I got some rubber bands and just wrapped them around this um, extension, and I and I used it manually on my hands um, to get it started um, just to get space going when I took them off so I just um, I did the same thing for putting them on hopefully that'll help somebody out there uh, if you have any issues but I'm gonna go ahead and um, tighten these down a little more and then I'm gonna go ahead and close up the uh, cam case All right, so the uh, push rods, 
easy install so they just uh, go in and then I just gotta adjust them. Right, the push rods are in snug. Okay, so I've gone through and adjusted. Um, once they were finger tight, you go through and uh, you put the, uh, your spark plug should have been off already. So you have the bike in fifth gear and you just um, start turning the engine. You go through one at a time and you let it cycle through. Once play um, comes about, you mark your push rod and the instructions say to do 24 flats or four turns. I just put a mark with a paint marker on mine and I turned it four times. Uh, it got snug one more, it got snug once again. I tightened these two and then I moved on. I, I cycled it through again the engine made sure there was no more play and then I moved on to the next one and then I did that for uh, each of the other push rods so I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes and see if everything is good when I come back I'll cycle the engine through again and if everything um, is still tight I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything together all right, so because I have uh, torque cones in my bike, I opted for the flat exhaust gasket. Back together. All right, here we go.